Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this colorful tunnel animation in After Effects. We're gonna go through the process of creating it from scratch, then building it in Illustrator, then finally animating it in After Effects. So with that said, let's begin. With a project like this, it always starts in the drawing phase. So you can see I'm roughly drawing the idea out. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect at this stage. I knew I wanted some colorful walls, floor, and as a back element, I wanted an eye that I will animate later in After Effects. I also added some primitive shapes to add a bit more interest in the whole composition. So with that said, the drawing was done, and let's go in Illustrator to see how the different elements were done. In Illustrator, instead of building the whole wall, I build a part of it. I know it's a bit confusing right now, but it's gonna make a whole lot sense when we're gonna go to After Effects and start animating it. I took a 480 by 1080 p page and started making boxes which are 480 by 270 and filling them with different color and that gives us this stripe composition. I made another file in Illustrator and used the ellipse tool to make an egg shape and then adjusted its points to make it more into a prominent eye shape. Added two circles and made a pupil and set it in the center of the eye and that's how I made the eye shape. I also made some primitive shapes using simple parts as you can see here. I imported the eye and the stripe as footage layer into After Effects and imported the primitive shapes as a composition since it got multiple layers inside. I created a new comp with 480 by 1080p and named it stripe underscore one. Put the stripe file into this comp and went effect distort offset. In the offset effect, I animated the shift center to from going down to up. After this, I started duplicating the stripe comp in the project menu and going into each comp and randomize the values so they look different in each one. After this, I created a new 1920 by 1080p comp and named it main stripe. I put all the four stripe comps inside this main composition and placed them properly. And after a RAM preview, this is what we get. After this, I drag the I file into the create new composition button to create its own comp. I convert the illustrator layer into shape layers by going layer, create, create shapes from vector layers. This will basically turn this layer into a shape layer and nest the shapes within that layer group. I duplicated this layer, named the bottom one eye base and the top one eye pupil. In the eye base, I deleted the group one and two, so we just left with the eye shape. And in the pupil layer, I deleted the group three, so we are just left with the pupil. After this, I started animating the path of the eye base I animated a basic blinking and then adjusted the graph till I was happy with it. I copy pasted the blinking keyframes throughout the composition. Once everything was done, I click on this button to preserve the underlying transparency so the pupil will only be visible on the eye base layer. Now it's time to assemble. I created a new 1080p comp and named it final build. I dropped the eye comp inside it and scaled it around 50%. Then created a solid layer and scaled it down to work as a base for the eye comp. Then I hit Ctrl R to bring in the rulers and drag some guides line all over the comp. This is gonna make sense in a bit. I dragged the main stripe comp inside and then went to effect, distort, CC power pin. And then started adjusting their points to snap to the comp's ruler. I basically repeated this process for the rest of the three sides and this is what we get. I created a new shape layer and named it eye border and started drawing a border stroke around the eye composition. I also created another shape layer and started adding stroke line all around the comp. This gives the whole composition a bit more structured look. After this, I open up the primitive comp and copy pasted those three layers into our final build composition. I started animating the cross played with its position value and also adjusted the graph till I was happy with the animation. Once it was done, I looped it with a simple loop out expression and basically repeated this whole process again with the rest of the primitive shapes with the different position and scale.
for the final touches brought in some textures, changed their blending mode and animated their positions. Also set their keyframes to hold keyframes and added a loop out expression. Wrapped it up with some noise and posterize time set to 12 and that's it. There are so many variations you can do with this comp just by changing the main stripe composition as you can see in the screen right now. So get this project file from the description and if you can donate something in the Gumroad page that would be really great. As always, leave a like, share and comment down your thoughts. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more motion graphics tutorial and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye guys.